Hello, my name is Dr. Francis Kong, and this is my story. He said, Francis, I knew from day one when I met you, you didn't want to be a doctor. I'm like, yeah, I know that now. <laughs> Why did you tell me that back then? He goes, I tried to tell you that, but you weren't ready to listen. I'm like, you're right. I was so hung up on trying to please my mom and dad's wishes that no matter what you told me, I would have just blew it off. Until so during the second year, that's when most medical schools it's the last year you'll get any more breaks. So two of my buddies in the class uh, suggested to me that we should do something super fun for our last spring break ever. And we decided to go to Barcelona, Spain. And little did I know that that, that day, would be the turning point in my life. Because that's the day that I would actually become an airplane crash survivor, actually. And this was not on the itinerary. This was not part of the trip. This was something that I was not mentally emotionally prepared for forever. And everything was fine, except the point when it came to the landing. And that's where everything went south. I remember very clearly being on the right side of the plane, looking out the right window, coming in for the landing, seeing blades of grass come up very quickly, and then the plane flying to the very end of the runway, almost touching the ground, we're probably 10 feet off the ground, the plane accelerating again all of a sudden and, ex and basically ascending back into the sky, the landing gears have failed. None of the landing gears are coming down from the plane. I had to process all of this in, in like microseconds of what was going on. Uh, I really learned quickly that in a plane crash incident, you completely are helpless and you have no say in what's going to happen. You just have to accept the fact that you are going to be crashing in this plane with everyone else on board with you. Uh, I remember the first the first impulse I got was asking myself how I got there and what decisions I made that morning that put me on a plane. Hour. All my decisions in, in life, as far as I can remember, all had one core thread going through it. And that thread was my focus and intensity of getting into medical school. And that sparked my awareness for the first time that I actually never wanted to go to medical school. Either. So I had people in my entire life trying to help me figure out. The problem was I was just too afraid to even listen to them and admit to myself that there was another option. So it became very clear to me I wasn't angry at my mom and dad. I was actually angry at myself. I, was, I think in that moment is when I really contemplated and, and understood and saw in the last second before impact the most important thing in life. I saw my mom, my dad, my little sister, and all my mentors were actually almost in this room looking back at me. So that year I found all my mentors one by one again and I told them what happened to me, I told them how much I loved them. And I think that was really where I started my whole focus on mentorship now. I became a pageant mentor and coach because one of the students in my Edge Interns mentorship program happened to be the goddaughter of the founder of the Miss Asian Global Pageant. And she introduced me to Rose Chung, who was the founder of the pageant. Then she met me and saw the work I was doing with the Edge Interns program, got re-inspired again, and asked if we could combine the whole philosophies together, keeping her pageant as a pageant on the outside, but inside transforming into a leadership camp for young Asian women with the skill. I think everything does happen for a reason, but I think that only happens if you actually act upon that reason in the first place.